Hello, I'm Shirley Orlando of Island Bazaar. That's ukuleleparadise.com. And we're finishing up the fun with, fun with the Ukulele book by Mel Bay. If you have the book, you follow along here and we'll finish that up and you will be graduated from the beginner's ukulele course. Okay, and then we'll go on to some uh, harder things. If you would, go into para uh, ukuleleparadise.com and there's an Ask Shirley section. Email me if you would like to have some exercises I have written out for the ukulele that will get you into playing all these beginning chords that you need to be playing right now. And the ones that we have gone through right here in the book are uh, chords that you will be playing the rest of your life. So it's a very good instruction. I just love the Mel Bay books. Uh, Mel Bay Company, uh, they're such real people over there and nice people and have taught virtually millions of people how to play instruments from guitar, banjo, clarinet, saxophone, mandolin, violin, anything you can think of, Mel Bay Publications has made that book. So anyway, let's continue on. We're going on page 33 now. You'll notice that I have skipped some of the songs in this course because of time constraints, but you can play them at home Especially if you have the CD version, you'll know how it goes. If you don't know how it goes, just play the songs that I'm teaching you and that will be fine. So on page 33 is the D chord. Now the D chord, I can't push my music stand down, but I'm going to lift my fingers up. The D chord, you're covering these three strings, both, all, all three on the second fret. The second, third, and fourth string. Second fret. There are several ways to play it. Now, in the book, the Mel Bay book, you will show, they show the one finger in the middle, the second finger on the fourth string, and the third finger on the second string. Now, that's one way to play a D string. Now, if you're like me and your fingers can all squunch together, I just go one, two, three from the fourth, third, and second string. And I get the same effect. But a lot of people have fingers that are cannot squunch together that that uh, closely together. So if you do it the way Mel Bay shows you there on page 33, you may have a better time of it. As I said, I'm going to be playing it with one, two, three from the four, three, two strings. All right, all those numbers will get you confused. But play that D string now. Make sure you have it correctly, and make sure you're pressing down firmly enough to get clear tone, okay? All right, we're going to do the first exercise on page 33. I'll count four and you play along with me. One, two, three, four. D, G, A seventh, and D, two, three, four. Now let's go to the second exercise is in three quarter time. One, ready, play. D, two, three, G, two, three, A, seven, and D, two, rest. Okay, now four, four time exercise in which we'll be playing a B seventh, the E seventh, and the A seventh, which we learned in last lesson four. One, two, ready, Play D, B seventh, E seventh, A seventh, back to D, D, D seventh, and G, and D two, three, rest. Let's do that one one more time. It's a little longer than the other one. All right, one, two, ready, play. D, B seventh, B seventh, A seventh, D, D seventh, G, and D two, three, rest. Very good. You've come a long way. Now, you're going to have so much fun playing the ukulele. You are just going to go nuts with it. If you have stuck it out thus far, I know you'll continue. 
There are so many ways to learn how to play the ukulele, and the very best way is to play with other people. So, as I said before, if you don't have a ukulele club in your area, find someone, even yourself, who can play pretty well to start a group of ukulele players. I'll bet if you look around or do some kind of advertising in churches or whatever, you will find people who can play the ukulele and start playing in groups. We have three groups out of Island Bazaar, and the membership is literally hundreds and hundreds of people that come. They don't all come on the same day, thank God. But anyway, there are hundreds of folks that come. We have a wonderful Hawaiian group called Kalohe, led by Uncle Henry Kamai. And then I lead our Thursday night group called Ukulele Jam. And then we have another wonderful group on Friday mornings at 10.30 called Surf City Strummers. So there's lots of ukulele going on in Huntington Beach, California. So if you can't find a place to play, come on over. Page 34, we're going to pass. Darling Nellie Gray, we're going to skip over to 35 and play My Bonnie. A lot of you younger folks aren't going to know these older tunes. That's why I'm playing them kind of slow for your benefit and also for the fact that you're beginners. So. This is in three-quarter time, I'll count one, two, and the word my is the third beat. So, one, two, my body lies over the ocean. Susanna and let you do page 38 because the clock is up against it here and we're running out of time so I'll count three and then we're gonna start a beat about like this on O oh Susanna enjoyed this a beginner's lesson course and just go through it as many times as you need to play smoothly on those first lessons and I'll put out some other things for you I'd like to hear your comments if you would go on to ukuleleparadise.com and uh, under the ask Shirley category send me your comments on this course if it's done, uh, done any good for you and of course if you have any complaints <clears throat> he'll listen to them over there just kidding bye bye